What's up, everybody? Welcome to Boca Raton area in Palm Beach County, Florida. This is a suburban, nice area for the most part. There's a little part of this county that's kind of like a hood. So here you have kind of like a really nice overall suburban area. But then in the middle of it all, you have kind of like a small suburban hood. I see a lot of um, Colombian and Brazilian restaurants and stuff like that. Let's get out here and explore this area of Boca Raton and see what it's like out here. Now, again, for the most part, this is a nice urban area. And there's an infamous mobile home park. Okay, what's the name of this mobile home park? Watergate Estates. Watergate Estates. Our subscribers have been requesting that we check out this hood here but again it's kind of a weird area it's kind of like it's mostly suburban but in the middle of it all there's like a hood in the middle of the suburbs so this will be a very interesting uh, area to explore Boca Raton um, is said to have no hoods but just outside of Boca Raton city limits this is a little area so let's explore it and see if we can give it a, a hood score like you know how Doug DeMuro gives areas a, a Doug score Give this place a hood score, you know. Give this a hood score from one to a ten. Philadelphia, Kensington, Baltimore being a one, and like I don't know, Naples being a. Well, how do we rate this? The lower, the more hood. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you got a low score, it's more hood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like, Baltimore is like a like a one, and then like Naples is like a ten. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a hood score. We, we just start doing this in our videos. Yeah. We'll give it a hood score. Baltimore being like the absolute worst, like a one. Yeah. Like in the middle, we'll give it like Lehigh is like a five. It's not like it's not quite the yes. hood, but it's not quite good either. Lehigh is yeah. like a five. Mm -hmm. So, we'll give this place a hood score. Um, what's that street that goes into the trailer park? Uh, stay on foot. Is that right there? Yeah. So that's the street that takes us in the neighborhood? Yeah. All right, so this is the outskirts. Here's Chinese restaurants and angry drivers. So this this goes into here. Yeah. This is like getting community sure thing. Yeah. Get the map, bro. Yeah. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Yep. All right, so we'll give this place a hood score. I have a this distinct nice. feeling yeah. I know somebody that lives in here. I know somebody that lives in here. Did you ever come when my sister and my dad came to West Palm Beach? Were you went with us on a trip? Yeah, think, yeah. I think, yeah, I think her friend lives in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I, we ate at their house. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was in here. We right had here. the picadillo that was spicy. Yeah. Yeah. This looks exactly like that place. Yeah. But this place a hood score. I guess at the end of the video we'll give it a hood score. Yeah, I'm kind of formulating one at this point, but yeah. Well, they didn't have a hurricane come through, so it must be the bad bugs. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. This, are the sheriffs be living up in here? Oh man. So it's gotta be less than Lehigh, because in, in Lehigh the cops live in. Yeah. Can I see a map real quick so I can figure it of out? Of course. Give this place a hood score. Mm -hmm. I mean, for one, it can't be a one like Baltimore, we know that. Yeah. Let's see here. I don't remember it too much because it was kind of late when we came through. Mm -hmm. So. We're coming. Yeah. Okay. That looks like your old truck. I know, but can I still doing the same occupation? Yeah. Picking up scrap metal. Yeah. So yeah, it hasn't really got too flat truck really ain't got too far down there. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a, a hood score. Mm -hmm. 
this guy right here, his beard just gave us the neighborhood a, a three. Yeah. Oh no, like if Baltimore, hold on now, Baltimore is a one. Yeah. Like, like a Louisville or something like that would be a two. Mm -hmm. A three would be like an Arcadia. Mm -hmm. Give this place a hood score. Probably about three or four. So a four. Right now it's at a four. Yeah, four. Oh, it's at a four. Yeah. I don't know. I think we we could say we can make a Lehigh a seven and just kind of push yeah. this a little further back. How about we make Lehigh a ten? Yeah. Naples doesn't even register. Like, like we'll give it a hood score. Yeah. Or how about make Lehigh a 9 and Naples a 10? Yeah. Because there's different levels of hood. Yeah, and you know? I think you're looking at, like... I don't know. We have to formulate this. Because if we if, if we rate it too too lightly, mm -hmm. they don't, it'll, uh, it won't make any sense towards the end. Mm -hmm. Like when you've well, given, like, 100 the one places. thing that I am not seeing here is... Um, I'm not seeing metal bars on the windows okay how about we create like um yeah let's create like a metric yeah and then like we'll use that metric to score the place yeah like every donk is a point mm -hmm. or every car that has big wheels is a point yeah metal bars in the windows are a point gang graffiti is a point mm -hmm. i think i think we're gonna have to go like on a one to a hundred scale yeah instead of a one to ten scale yeah and give it points based off of like what we see. Behind us is a Cadillac Fleetwood. That's definitely a hood point right there. Mm -hmm. We're getting followed by a Cadillac Fleetwood. Mm -hmm. So that's that's definitely some hood points right there. There's a point. Let me um turn here real quick. Just park over here. I think Cadillac Fleetwoods are definitely extra points. Mm -hmm. Lots well, of the bill. Oh, it's not Fleetwood. Okay. Yeah. People on foot carrying grocery bags are an extra point. Okay. Shopping carts are an extra point. This already got five Sc points already. Scrappers. We have to develop like a like a like a hood grain score, you know? Mm -hmm. Like we should actually have a chart and then just check it yeah, off. Yeah, have like a, like a clipboard. Yeah. With sheets every time we go into a hood. Yeah. Like we should make like a we should just have a, a hood chart. Give this place a <laughs> okay graffiti right there. It's not exactly game related, but it is hilarious. Yeah. Okay. We have to like make a list of what's hood, and then start giving neighborhoods a hood score. You know, you know like how Doug DeMiro gives cars a, a Doug score or whatever. That looks nice. What's he call it on his channel? Doug. A Doug score. Yeah, we'll do it a hood score. Okay, a burnt down house right here so that's definitely like an extra point yeah that house is bur burnt out right there yeah caught fire that's so sick. doesn't take too much to take a hose to your house once a year a michigan flag that's yeah. definitely a negative right there i don't know if that's michigan who is it it's blue and yellow michigan flags are definitely a bad thing <laughs> what's wrong man <laughs> Start this conversation again? No, we're done. Okay. Yeah. We can bring this conversation back up. Okay. So just in case you guys don't, don't know this, Katie decided to ram the car into a curb and then tell me that the curve rammed into the car. I'm mean, going, okay, Katie, the curb <laughs> doesn't. No, I that's said. the way you explained it to me. She explained it to me as the curb attacked the car. I was like, Katie, I met your guilt. Okay. I did. I came and told you instead of hiding it or trying to cover it up. Yeah, you told me. And... You told me. No, you didn't. You did try to cover it up because you weren't honest about. I was trying to be honest with you about it. Well, eventually I'd see it and I know that somebody would hit a curb. You had to tell me you hit the curb. That's. I told you. I could have like not told you. Katie, I would have saw it. You think I want to see my? I look at my rims every time I walk on my car. <laughs> 
you were you said something happened to the wheels, but then you didn't want to admit fault. You're like the curb attacked. I did not yes, say you that. did. You tried to tell I me that the curb. I said I scratched the rim. No, you said the curb hit the car. <laughs> like no, the curb didn't hit the car. You. The car hit a curb. No, the car didn't hit the curb. You hit a curb. I did. Yeah. I in the car. So listen hit to a your curb. selection. Listen to your selection of vocabulary. That's where the problem stems. Chickens running around is always a yeah. good score. You saw chickens? No, but this seems like the place where you might see them. This is what, it seems like the type of place where they've got like peacocks too for no reason. Cats are definitely plywood a on score. The plywood on the window is a hood score. Cats. I'm going to get some flow charts, print them out. Yeah, we'll have to have it here. And like just have it highlighted and like, Every time we go through a hood, we'll give it a hood score. People driving the wrong way, I guess, could be a hood score. Okay. I'm not sure. They're... Man, that truck's been through some hard times. Hard times, and it keeps going and going through Ooh, more hard times. Step side. Yeah. They got. Oh, this guy's a Chevy truck collector. That's cool. Sh car and truck. Okay, by the way, why are there so many old school Chevys in the neighborhood? I don't know. Like old box Chevys. Plow I think boarded up houses and plowing the windows definitely gives you a hood score. There's gotta be points for burning up your windows for no reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this place is starting to shake off pretty good. It's got all the hood. For some reason, there's a lot of old cars here. An abundance of old vehicles. What kind of tree is that? It's like a. Thing. It's like a tree, but then it's a cactus. Yeah, it's a cactus tree. Didn't know that existed. I thought it was just cactus. 24s are definitely a hood score. Mm -hmm. Running a business out of a residential home should definitely be a hood score, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like if somebody's running like a commercial business out of a home, mm -hmm. we'll have to make a list. We'll have to make a chart. Mm -hmm. And you give places a hood score. Mm -hmm. de this definitely has all the characteristics of a hood. Mm -hmm. Parking cars on the grass. That's definitely going to be on the list. Mm -hmm. Not mowing your grass. How about that? No. Car being worth more than the house. No house upkeep. It looks like they keep you know, like, up with the cars uh, yeah, more like, than the house. Yeah, yeah, like upkeep. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Like, like, like property condition should be a yeah. score. Like how run down it is. Yeah. Like here, like, nobody pressure washes. Mm -hmm. There's cars parked on the grass. Mm hmm there's plywood on the windows. There's tires everywhere. Yeah. Tires and rims. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tires. Mm -hmm. Tires and, like, just randomly, like, dump, dumping garbage and tires and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's definitely a, a good... Yeah, so this place checks off with all of the hood criteria. There's only, like, this is not a hood. I live here. And it's actually a pretty nice place. Yard weeds. Yeah, not more in your grass. Car being worth more in the house is definitely a hood characteristic. Mm-hmm. But then if we have a chart, a preliminary, this guy just put Lamborghini on the side of a... <laughs> I didn't actually see that. Cove Place. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're uh, having bad memories coming back. Dude. Yeah. Lowriders. Yeah. Nice. La Raza Es Pura. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you could tell someone's living in the RV that's parked out front, yeah, that's a sign. Like they're running it out. Yeah. How about having window shakers and stuff since we're here? Definitely. That's definitely a hood score point. Hmm. I went to a place like this, but that place that we're talking about it was in West Palm Beach. We're not. Yeah. There's a park like this in West Palm Beach. Yeah. That, that house registers on ten different points. Plywood randomly places. Definitely the burnt down house right there. That's another burnt down house? Yeah. So this isn't like a random thing. It's just like, there's there, there's not. Yeah. Really, why are so many houses burning down? In Probably certain because, places. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's yeah. the second burnt down trailer. That's weird. Dude, the amount of old school Chevys in this neighborhood yeah. is insane. Like, step sides are everywhere in yeah. old Chevys. I love those trucks. Yeah, we're gonna sit there and draw up a chart and be like, okay, let's give this place a hood score. 
I don't know. That way, people can't get scissors. Today, people yeah. like they'll get mad at you, and they'll yeah. be like, "Oh, you're just pointing out what's up." If we already have a pre-made yeah. list of what consists of a hood, and you're yeah. getting a hood score, mm -hmm. then you can't get mad at me because it was already like predetermined. It was what, there. It was predetermined how you were laying on that chart. Yeah. And sometimes with Florida, it can still go down, but it's still a nice neighborhood. I have no idea what you're talking about. No, like it pops off, but it's a nice neighborhood. It, the it's structurally yeah, like kind of nice. like, well, kind of like where we live. Yeah. Where like it, like if you drove through in the daytime, like, oh this is nice, and then, and then if like you're there a long time, you're like oh this sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Did we were on that street already? I think so. No, we haven't on the street. Okay. But this this is definitely a hood. You got burnt down houses. You got like piles of trash everywhere. Mm -hmm. You got just like really nasty upkeep. I mean, you're talking like run down houses and crash cars. Crash cars. Yeah, this definitely has a lot of hood characteristics. Yeah. It, it'd be hard to live here and not accept that this is actually a hood. I mean, it has a, yeah. All the characteristics of a hood. Like people don't think that would, you know, when you think about Boca Raton, you don't think, oh, it's, there's hoods in Boca. There's definitely. How about Mean Muggin? Mm -hmm. I think Mean Muggin is definitely worth some hood Yeah. Yeah. Some, somebody Mean Muggin you for a reason? Yeah. Cars that you can tell are abandoned? They're abandoned cars. This reminds me so much of the neighborhoods like in Southwest Florida. Yeah. Like this looks like something you'd see in like Arcadia or yeah. like Fort Myers. You don't really think about a neighborhood like this in Southeast Florida. Yeah. But Piles like, of trash randomly there on the curb. Yeah. Is definitely a sign. Yeah. I, I would definitely say this is a hood. Yeah. And it's hard to say there's hoods in Boca Raton. When you label a video of Boca Raton hoods, people are gonna be like, what the crap? <laughs> yeah. That's, it's not something you were, when you think about Boca, you don't even think about that. But there's yeah. definitely hoods in Boca. Yeah. And I can guarantee you there's burnt down houses and people ain't got central air. Like, there's definitely yeah. hood conditions out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like it's very diverse, too. Yeah. There's a little bit of everything. Yeah. I've seen people like from all walks of life in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except for rich old white folks. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones that are like, yeah, we're gonna move over there. Oh, you saw that? What? ATV doing wheelies on the road. You didn't see it at the end of the road? I saw a flash. Yeah, there's something. somebody. Yeah. There's somebody on a motorcycle doing wheelies. Oh, cool. Like an ATV or yeah. something. Just somebody flew by doing a wheelie. Oh, uh, it's definitely a weird neighborhood if there's PT cruisers. <laughs> you give it a weird score. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the, yeah, I just saw it. I just saw um, we buy jump car signs are pretty trash. Yeah. Thing. Definitely. I just saw somebody fly by in a motorcycle doing a wheelie. Yeah. That's definitely some hood stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely say this is a hood. Yeah. Let us venture away from this place. Yes. Find new adventures. Yes. So. Not sure where the motorcycle guy went, but that was pretty cool. Yeah. There's some houses in the back if you go the other way, but they don't too hood. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what's in here. Uh, thank you for our subscriber who put us on this place and yeah, persisted that definitely. we came out here. Persistence pays off. Yeah. This is awesome. I love like if I ever need to buy an old truck. I think this guy it says Lamborghini on the side. Is that what it says? No. Oh no, it says La Perona. But it's in the same uh, print style of, of the word Lamborghini. Yeah. I wonder if we can run back into the motorcycle. That'd be pretty cool. That's great cover um, photo material, like somebody going away on a motorcycle. Dude, the amount of stepshot Chevy stuff is in the neighborhood. Yeah. I love it. They are hard to find. That's what I really want. If I could drive anything, mm -hmm. I would want a stepshot Chevy stick shift. Yeah. That's a car that I really enjoy. Stepside Chevy. Stepside Chevy, man. There it is. See him right up there in the right shirt? Or is that a bicycle? That's a bicycle. No, no, no. That's not him. Yeah. Huh, they went into him or not. 
Who graffiti? Graffiti. No, it's turn around and see if it's gang related. Uh, what happened? It didn't look like that, but yeah. You never know. Yeah. You have to check it out. It looks like they have a really nice park. Yep, community park. This looks like something out of Pasco County. Yeah. This does not seem like something. This is very strange for Southeast Florida. Yeah. This is like a Pasco County looking down place. Trash Coke County. And again, all the good characteristics, like cars that are worth more than the house. But then there's like a redneck aspect to it. That's, that's what's weird about it. Like it's got the hood aspect, so it's got tattoos on all over its face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The island boys. Mm -hmm. It's it's got like a redneck aspect to it. That's kind of odd. Mm -hmm. It's very very strange. It has like a very redneck vibe. Yeah. But like urban but red like kind of like a Pasco County, Florida type of vibe. Yeah. Very interesting. I bet this would be an awesome place to live, though. Yeah. I bet people here just, like, kind of mind their own business and mm -hmm. just, like, I bet you, like, living here is, like, an, every day is a different spectacle. Yeah. It's like redneck meets inner city. Yeah. Very interesting vibe. It's like a country ghetto type of place. That's the second hard body Nissan that I see. Yeah. There's a lot of hard body Nissans here. You know. There's a graffiti right there. Let's see what it says. Anything gang related? Let's see if we got anything gang related to it. This more seems like scribbling. You don't see anything. Well, there is that clown face right there. That could be. There's a mouth. Oh, I see. There's a mouth with a yeah. figure. You just now figured that out? Yeah, there might be some J. There, there might be some gang related stuff. Huh. Hard to tell if it's gang related. Could be some. There could be some gang related stuff in there. The clown face is definitely usually gang related. Interesting. Yeah. Very cool place, man. I want to see more of it. It's very interesting. This place just keeps giving and giving. Wow, what an awesome place, man. Yeah. Shopping cart, the usual. Yeah. 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 The the hood and Boca Raton, like unreal. Like I said, you don't really equate Boca Raton with having hoods. Shoes, shoes hanging off a of wire. I'm an island boy trying to do an island thing. Trying to do an island boy. Trying to be an island thing. Trying to eat an island man. That's not wrong. <laughs> but then again, anything related to the island boy should sound wrong. Yeah. La Parranda la el Gordo. <laughs> it seems very diverse though. It seems like you have like, yeah. you have like, like every type of demographic that would normally be in their own neighborhood, but they're all mixed yeah. into this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's like the rich people are like, you know what? Rednecks, Cubans, Salvadorians, whatever the crap you are, right here in this neighborhood. <laughs> if you're not rich, you belong here. It's like they dumped everything that wasn't rich people in one place. And there's a Publix around the corner. Very typical contrast neighborhood. 
and that's what's odd about these places. Like, imagine these people are living their completely hood life back in there, mm -hmm. but then they walk a block away, and there's like people living their totally like suburban lives right next to you, living your totally hood life. Yeah. You know? It makes me want a pub sub. <laughs> Pub sub. I've never heard that. Mm -hmm. A pub sub. Mm -hmm. This is still Palm Beach County, but it feels like Broward. Yeah, it does. It's got a Broward feel. Interesting. Is this a Arepas? There's like a Venezuelan, a Venezuelan food truck in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. There's a cricket, that's usually in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very interesting video. Definitely not what you think about when you hear the word Boca. You think Boca, you're not thinking mm -hmm. trailer park slums, but definitely. A place called Western Beef over there. Yeah. I wonder if probably like if there's any other little sections. It's a supermarket. If it's just down that way, or like if in here, all these businesses and stuff are kind of. It seems like really suburban. Hmm. That was awesome. Alright guys, there it is. The hood in Boca. <laughs>